Thinking about moving to Meridian, Idaho? Curious to not only hear, but also see why this popular Boise suburb is consistently ranked as being one of the fastest growing cities in the nation? Well then, in today's video, in which we'll be driving throughout Meridian to tour you through its top 10 most desirable neighborhoods is for you. As we go, we will also be sharing feedback and insights from current residents. Not only will you get to see the top well-established and older communities that people so often fall in love with, but we will also tour you through some brand new up-and-coming developments that very likely aren't even on your radar yet. So be sure to watch till the very end so you can see them all. Great, I'll make popcorn. First up, and this is one that truly never fails to impress me, let's talk about Spurwing. Located in the northern tip of Meridian, with Eagle to its northeast and Star to its northwest, and then they've got the new Costco to the south, which might sound a little odd that I'm bringing it up here, but well, who doesn't love Costco? Anyhow, this incredible neighborhood is well regarded as being one of the most highly sought after communities in all of Meridian. Home to the acclaimed Spurwing Country Club, which is just a completely gorgeous and nationally recognized recognized private golf course, it's got an exclusive, luxurious atmosphere that tends to resonate well with those who appreciate the finer things in life, along with beautiful, serene scenery, and who also just really love social events and being part of a community. And then, of course, a shared passion for the sport of golf is something that the majority of residents definitely connect over. Living in Spurwing, which, and this surprises many to learn, is actually a huge community made up of 10 different subdivisions. So there's Spurwing Heights, Spurwing Green, Spurwing Grove, Spurwing Green Estates, and well, you get the gist. They've all got Spurwing in the name, but well, they are technically different subdivisions with different HOA boards and fee structures. One thing they all share, though, is that they, as a whole, make Spurwing Spurwing. And then one more thing that they share is what's called a lifestyle membership to to the private Spurwing Country Club. So when I say they come with it, what I mean is that it's included in their annual HOA. This lifestyle membership provides residents with full privileges to the clubhouse, pro shop, swimming pool, tennis and fitness facilities, and all of the social events. And then lifestyle members can reserve a tea time once a month paying at the club's current guest rate. So please do not confuse this membership with a full golf membership because that my friend is a completely different kind of membership with of course its own fee structure and benefits. Benefits. If you're, say, watching this in a year from now and are curious to know the current up-to-date fee structure for the full golf membership, or perhaps you're curious about one of the Spurwing communities in particular, just shoot us a text or comment below and we would be happy to fill you in. As a whole, the Spurwing community is well known for its upscale and just all around prestigious atmosphere. The neighborhood features well-designed, custom-built luxury homes with high quality construction and high-end finishes. And it's well manicured professional landscaping, lush lawns, gorgeous gardens, and well, overall appeal make it one community that is truly pretty hard to beat. Overall, Spurwing residents love calling such a gorgeous and serene area home. As a golf community, there is really never a shortage of social opportunities and events for residents to connect with their neighbors. Next, let's move out to the southern end of Meridian to check out a well-established and highly praised community that's often particularly appealing to both growing families and retirees alike. Let's talk about Tuscany. Located in Southeast Meridian, with Eagle Road to the east, Locust Grove to the west, Victory Road to the north, and Amity to the south, Tuscany is really in a stellar location, as you can hop right onto I-84 and get to downtown Boise in just about 12 to 15 minutes. Or you could also jet down to the village of Meridian in just about 10. It's close proximity to I-84, which is our main transportation artery here, and really just key to getting just about anywhere in the valley quickly is a huge perk for many. That said, it's not so close that you can hear it from your backyard. What does that sound? Across the board, Tuscany is undeniably one of South Meridian's most widely known and recognized well-established communities. With four, yes four, community pools, eight acres of community parks, miles and miles of walking and jogging paths, and then also being within just a walking distance of one of Meridian's top-rated elementary schools, as well as the newly constructed Albertsons grocery store, everything is really right there in the community. When you cruise through this neighborhood, the variety of homes you see and the pride 
pride of ownership is very evident. When I think of Tuscany, I think of kids out and about on bikes and scooters, joggers out with their golden doodles, and also of their huge annual community garage sale, which really attracts people from all over the valley. And then again, with Siena Elementary tucked right into the neighborhood, and then with all the their various community events and activities, there's seemingly almost always a lot going on to help new as well as old neighbors connect, which of course can be so incredibly helpful for newcomers. Homes here were built between 2003 and 2016, and it really is just a huge neighborhood. So from beginning to end, well, that took some time. Many homes are tucked right on 10 Mile Creek or the Vrindenbach Canal, so you can trust that you will see lots of ducklings and goslings all throughout the spring and early summer months. And then there are also numerous water features established throughout the neighborhood. And then as far as homes and architectural styles go, in Tuscany, they really span the gamut. You'll find both patio homes as well as 4,000 square foot homes on over half an acre. So that alone helps to add variety and of course character to the community. And then of course, thanks to this wide variety of housing options for our clients who identify Tuscany as being the place they wanna be, the home search can really truly be quite fun. We have quite a number of friends who live in Tuscany and they all love it. In fact, when we think about Tuscany, one of the first things that pops to mind is hearing them say, oh, I love my neighborhood or something along those lines. We have heard that quite a few times and that's from several different friends. So I think that that certainly speaks for itself. Always ask the locals. Next, let's go back up north to another desirable and well-established community that people often just go nuts over. Let's check out Paramount. Tucked near the intersection of Meridian Road and West Chinden with McMillan Road to the south, living in Paramount means that you've got great shopping, parks, restaurants, and schools all within a short distance. And then aside from its location, residents absolutely love its great amenities. Residents here also have access to four community swimming pools. They've got clubhouses, fitness facilities, miles and miles of shared open space with walking and jogging paths, and then they also have several great and well-maintained parks and playgrounds. Another thing that residents often rave about is just the general friendliness and just really community-centric vibe that the neighborhood offers. While the community is a big one, it is right up there with Tuscany as being one of the biggest neighborhoods in Meridian, it still has a surprisingly inclusive and inviting manner to it. Also similar to Tuscany, the community has a fantastic elementary school located smack dab in the middle of the neighborhood. So not only is this super convenient for growing families, but also if you have kids, you will know this to be true. This can really help when it comes to making friends and just meeting other families in your neighborhood who are all in similar stages of life. My mom said you need this friend. And really, that can be true for parents as well as grandparents who live in the community and often find themselves helping out with their grandbabies. And then in addition to Paramount Elementary, the junior high and high school that Paramount residents are zoned for, they are both very close by. Just half a mile to Rocky Mountain High and then just about a mile and a half to the junior high. And then of course, let's not forget about the gorgeous variety of custom homes. Paramount is widely praised for its high quality construction and design. You'll find a range of housing options, including single family homes, town homes, patio homes, both small as well as huge homes on spacious lots, lots and lots of options here. And this variety also means you'll find a great variety of households from growing families to already, I don't know, full capacity families to newlyweds to empty nesters. You'll find them all happily calling Paramount home. And then the pride of ownership here is just incredibly evident, which of course also serves to preserve property values. Over the years, home values in Paramount and really all of the well-established communities that we'll be touring you through today have gained steady appreciation and equity, which, well, that's something we can all appreciate, right? Indeed, <laughs> indeed. Now let's go back into South Meridian to check out an up and coming neighborhood that's quite a bit different than the first three communities that we have just gone through, but still highly appealing to both families and retirees alike. Let's talk about Pinnacle. Located adjacent to one of our city's incredible parks, Discovery Park, that alone is a huge perk for Pinnacle residents. Discovery Park actually really deserves a quick look. Once finished, this 77 acre park, which already has an awesome playground area, a splash pad and sand stage 
station, as well as six, yep, six pickleball courts, two tennis courts, three softball fields, a sand volleyball court, and a new and already widely adored bike and skate park. And then there's also walking and jogging paths and acres and acres of open green shared space. And gosh, truly it's just a litany of other things. This park has it all. So yeah, Pinnacle residents undeniably love their incredible and direct access to this just all around fantastic park. And then as far as schools go, there's also gem prep right there by one of the main entrances into the community. And gem prep is a K through 12 tuition free public charter school. And then they're also just minutes away from the new YMCA and it's aquatic center. Aquatic, aquatic. And then within the community itself, residents have some great shared community amenities. Being as it is still under development, some amenities have yet to be built and or are currently under construction. As of today, so in April 2024, they are currently working on a gorgeous community pool, which is supposed to be done this summer. And then they will also have a community fitness center and multiple open shared green spaces, as well as an amphitheater and great walking and biking paths. Developed by the well-regarded Brighton Homes team, this master plan community offers an incredible number of gorgeous homes built by several of the Valley's top regarded builders, including James Clyde Custom Homes and Alturas Homes. Top of mind for me at this moment, because while we currently have three, three different couples who have just flipped out over this section of the community, there is a row of homes that backs up directly to the park, so Discovery Park that I just mentioned. The way in which these gorgeous homes are positioned, it truly is spectacular in that not only do they have incredible sunrise views of Bogus Basin, in the mountain range and obviously with no back rear neighbors or any chance of having any rear neighbors built back there because of the park but then many also have great upstairs sunset views of the Owyhees. What's more, the city of Meridian also recently broke ground on a new library that is right in Pinnacle. Residents are looking forward to having access to it as well as its borrowing center, at which apparently residents will be able to easily rent various outdoor gear such as tents. Are you outdoorsy, Harry? Yes. And then they will also apparently have cooking classes as well as business classes and even some dancing classes. So it's not going to be your typical library, which, well, I'm a bit old school in that I adore regular quote unquote typical libraries. But it sounds like this one is going to not only be a library, but it's going to be a library slash community gathering spot slash neighborhood hub. So yes, all in all, Pinnacle is an exciting up and coming community that is really doing an incredible job at just rounding out that southern section of Meridian. It just occurred to me that I never introduced myself. And if this is your first time to our channel, hi, I'm Marcy Ellison, a local real estate agent here in the Boise, Idaho area. Our goal with this channel is to put together on the ground videos that, well, that really would have helped us almost 20 years ago when we were first contemplating moving here and making this home. We post videos every single week featuring on the ground tours throughout Boise and its surrounding Treasure Valley. So to be sure you don't miss out on any of those, and it also helps us to see that little subscriber number tick up, please take a quick second to hit that subscribe button and then tap the little bell so that you will be notified every time we push a new video live. Okay, so let's get back into our community tours. Let's go back up to Northern Meridian to check out another well-established community called Bridge Tower. And as you can see here, which, well, let's also put up all the other neighborhoods we've already covered so you can see where they are in relation to each other. Bridge Tower is located south of McMillan Road with Linder Road to its east and then Eustick Road to the south. Bridge Tower is a widely loved and well-regarded neighborhood. And that seems to be especially true when it comes to families with school-aged children. Throughout the community, you'll find a range of well-designed and gorgeous homes of varying architectural styles. In addition, many homes incorporate great outdoor living spaces and areas, such as extended patios with outdoor kitchens, expansive water features, gorgeous gardens, and more. These kinds of spaces all add to the general vibe and ambiance of the community. Similar to several of the other communities we've already toured through, Bridge Tower offers a great sense of community. They host numerous neighborhood events throughout the year and have various social activities and community programs. And then in addition, they've also got two great community pools, as well as several well-maintained parks, shared common areas, and water features. 
And of course, Bridge Tower's location is pretty hard to beat, offering convenient access to a variety of amenities with shopping centers, restaurants, grocery stores, and entertainment options all nearby. And then all three of the public schools that the community is zoned for, all three of them are very close by. Many residents love that their kiddos can typically bike or walk to school, or if Idaho's sometimes, I don't know, bipolar, or really sometimes it feels more like tripolar, weather patterns determine that it's more of like a drop-off kind of day, well, that's no big deal for residents due to how close and easily accessible the schools are. Okay, so now let's move back down into the southern side of Meridian to a community that is just a bit south of Tuscany. Let's check out Sky Mesa. Located between Eagle Road and Locust Grove with Amity Road to its north and then Lake Hazel to its south, Sky Mesa is one of a handful of unique communities in Meridian in that it is built up on a ridge. And the elevation provided by being up on that ridge offers homeowners with some awesome and very unique to Meridian views. Built by the highly regarded Boise Hunter Homes team, construction in Sky Mesa began in 2015 with construction wrapping up just this year. All of the lots in the community have now been sold. So while this is definitely one of the newer neighborhoods we're going to be featuring in this video, it's unlike Pinnacle and a couple other new communities that I'll be touching upon here in a couple minutes in that it has now been fully built out. Or put another way, if you flip out over Sky Mesa, unless you're ready to buy today, you'll be looking at resale opposed to new construction, which as we have seen throughout this tour can be a fantastic way to go. There are undeniably benefits for both. But anyhow, I digress. If you want to dive into that topic, just shoot us a text or an email or post a comment below. Can we stay on topic here, honey? What? Okay, so back to Sky Mesa. This beautiful community is unique in that it offers two different neighborhoods and really vibes and lifestyles to choose from. There's the Highlands and the Village. In Sky Mesa Highlands, you will find homes situated on larger, more spacious lots, and many of which have gorgeous panoramic views. And then in the Village, you'll find more of that lock and leave lifestyle. Homes here are typically just a little smaller and are situated on low maintenance, smaller lots. So what do people love about living in Sky Mesa? Well, of course, as I already noted, the views. And really, just about every resident benefits and can enjoy them. And that's even true for those whose homes are located lower in the community and therefore don't offer direct views. Because, well, they can enjoy them during their early morning walk with their devoted labradoodle or an evening bike ride through the community. There are also a number of great open community common areas positioned to offer some great views. And then residents also love all of their shared amenities with two infinity edge swimming pools meandering jogging and walking paths that cover almost five miles several playgrounds a basketball court they've really got all the bells and whistles and then in addition residents love how close they are to the Boise Ranch golf course the new Albertsons and to several great parks Floor plans here range from just over 2,400 square feet up to just over 4,100. And then lot sizes range from just over three quarters of an acre to more low maintenance sizes that are around a tenth of an acre. So if you want a huge garden, you could have one. Or if you would rather not have to worry about doing any landscaping at all and instead are more all about that lock and leave lifestyle, well then that would be an option too. Okay, so now let's say that you are loving the views that some of the homes out in Sky Mesa offer, but well, you have your heart set on a newly constructed home overgoing with resale. Well then, we would definitely wanna make sure you checked out Skybreak. Skybreak is a new 80 acre development in Southeast Meridian. As you can see here, Skybreak is located south of Lake Hazel Road with Eagle Road to its west and Cloverdale to its east. Building here is still in its first initial phases. Currently, the two areas that are being developed are the rim view at the estates, and this area is, well, just like its name makes it sound, it's a section where homes are situated on larger lots, and yep, they will have some truly incredible views. And these premium lots are either bring your own builder and or have already been purchased by local custom home builders. And then the second area that is currently under construction in Skybreak is deemed the enclaves at the estates. Sorry, for some reason I can't seem to say enclaves without putting some sort of weird emphasis on it. But anyhow, this area is being exclusively built by Black Rock Homes, and we've been told that all of these contemporary style homes will be single level. And then this summer, they're slated to release lots in the area that's going to be deemed the village. We've been told that in this area, so the village, they will have homes on the smaller side, ranging from probably about 1,500 to 
2,000 square feet. There will also be a dog park, which is very common for this builder, Black Rock Homes, which I don't know, as one dog lover to another, I can certainly appreciate. And then they will also have a community pool and a park area. And then next fall, or depending on when you're watching this, perhaps it's in a year from now, so I will rephrase. In the fall of 2025, they will begin releasing lots in the district at the estates, which will have homes ranging around the 2200 to 2400 square foot mark. Here you can see Skybreak's current plat map. That said, to ensure you are looking at an up-to-date version, I will link to it in the description of this video for you to check out and or call or text us for an updated plat map. There will also be an active adult living, so a 55 plus portion of the community that will be gated. Some retirees that we work with absolutely love the option of being right in a 55 plus community, but also just a stone's throw from their grandkids. Or on the flip side, some parents of said grandkids love having their parents located just minutes away to help out. Because let's face it, raising kids can be at times a little bit exhausting and having the option to drop them at grandma's can be, well, worth its weight in gold. I just need quiet. So with this community and with so much of its growth slated for the future, that's incredibly appealing to some. Whereas for others who prefer more well-established areas, yeah, well, not so much. For people who are buying and building in this community, it's brand new homes and its central location with it being so close to great schools, parks, shopping, golf, and restaurants. And then of course, add in the views and just the overall appeal of living in a gated community. For many, especially if they have a longer timeline, it can be a great fit. And now let's move a bit west to a neighborhood in Southwest Meridian called Fall Creek, located off of Victory Road between Linder and Stoddard. This community built by Coleman Homes is loved by many. While it doesn't have the well-established landscaping that many other communities we've already toured through do, it has a fantastic community pool, arguably one of the best and biggest in the area and a great park area and clubhouse. Victory Middle School is also right in the community, which certainly helps to add to the community vibe and feel. Residents also love how close it is to Roaring Springs, which is the largest water park here in the Northwest, as well as Wahoos, which provides a year-round entertainment. It's also just minutes from Lowe's, Walmart, and Walgreens, which is certainly convenient. One thing that tends to surprise people about Fall Creek is its range of architectural styles and home sizes. Oftentimes, people assume it's going to be very just kind of cookie cutter, but that's really not the case. Spanning 72 and a half acres, it is home to about 180 single family homes that range from right around 1,600 square feet all the way up to over 4,000. And then in regard to lot size, most are right around a quarter of an acre with some being as small as just about a tenth of an acre and with the largest being around three quarters of an acre. One of the most common comments we get from our friends and past clients who call Fall Creek home is just how strong their sense of community is. During COVID, it was one of the very first neighborhoods to really jump on the rotating food truck chain. And that really helped residents regain some sense of normalcy and just provided an opportunity to socialize and connect even while providing distance. And thanks to how much open space the community has, not only their residents, but many residents who lived in surrounding communities also benefited from those great food trucks during that strange, strange time, my family included. Fall Creek is another one of those communities that when I think about it, I can practically hear people saying, I just love where I live or my community is really the best. Because well, I have heard that quite a number of times from Fall Creek residents. So again, that is certainly telling. Indeed it is. Okay, so now let's travel back into Northern Meridian to check out Bainbridge. Bainbridge is located just south of Chinden Boulevard with 10 Mile Road to the east and then Black Cat Road to the west. And then it's right across the road, Chinden Road to be specific, from the first community that we toured you through, Spurwing. So here you can see it as well as all the other communities that we've toured through and how they're positioned in relation to each other. In Bainbridge, the majority of homes feature modern architectural styles and more contemporary designs. They were built with functionality in mind, but also with a strong emphasis on exterior look and overall aesthetic appeal. You'll find many custom built homes with expansive open floor plans with extended ceilings, all centering around just pretty impressive gourmet kitchens. The majority of homes here are between 2,600 and 3,600 square feet, with some being as small as 1,400 square feet and others being as large as nearly 5,000. With those that are on the small 
smaller side, well, they are typically in the 55 plus area deemed cadence at Bridge Tower. So what do Bainbridge residents typically say they love about living here? First up, as you likely have already guessed, Bainbridge is well known for its family friendly atmosphere. The neighborhood offers a safe and welcoming environment for residents of all ages with well-maintained parks, playgrounds, and common areas. And going hand in hand with that is its strong sense of community. Bainbridge hosts a number of great neighborhood events, social gatherings, and community programs, which of course residents love. And then for newcomers, these events really help to pave the way to connect and build relationships. Bainbridge also has many great amenities such as their community swimming pool, cabana, clubhouse, playgrounds, and walking paths. There is also a beautiful big green shared space that sort of serves as the centerpiece of the community. And of course, people do love its proximity to Costco. And again, while that might sound kind of like a strange thing to be bringing in, one thing we found is that people of all ages, personality types, and really income levels, everybody really seems to love Costco. We've had multi-million dollar clients, as well as entry-level first-time home buyers, and just about every other kind of home buyer in between. And you know, across the board, one question that we are routinely asked about is re in regard to where the nearest Costco is. Funny, right? <laughs> But we get it all the time. And actually, on this same note, we've also been told quite a number of times now from people who are relocating here from states such as California and Washington, just how nice our Costco locations are. That's a lovely Costco. So, well, yeah, we all love Costco. And living in Bainbridge would mean that you would be incredibly close to the newest Costco here in Meridian. Another thing residents love about living in Bainbridge is that it's also not far at all from the Boise River and Eagle Island State Park. So you can easily head out to go fishing or paddleboarding or head out for a long walk or jog along the Greenbelt, which is a 25 mile paved pathway that follows the Boise River and runs all the way down to the east end of Boise. Or in the winter, you could hit Gateway Park for tubing. Its location and proximity to all of these resources is a major plus. And then last, let's look at another up and coming community, Quartet. Located off of Black Cat Road between McMillan and Eustick, this new development is really ideal for those who want to be in North Meridian, but also want a new home opposed to resale. Similar to Pinnacle, so the new community we toured earlier that's located in South Meridian, Quartet is also being developed by Brighton Homes. And they've also partnered with a great team of local builders, including Alturas Homes and James Clyde Custom Homes. So location-wise, Quartet residents love that it's only about a five minute drive from shopping, restaurants, coffee shops, all of those, and really just about any major service or provider you could want. It is also very close to some great schools, including Gem Prep, Coal Valley Christian, as well as the brand new high school, Owyhee High. Construction here started back in July of 2021, and once it is all built out, there will be right around 200 homes total, with homes ranging from right around 1,900 square feet all the way up to 3,600, with the average home size currently at right around 24 to 2,600 square feet. And then lot size wise, the vast majority of homes are situated on about a fifth of an acre to a quarter of an acre. So while they aren't on huge lots, most typically find that the lot size is sufficient for a garden and enough room for pets and kiddos to play. To give you an idea of what this area will look like once it has been fully built out, Brighton Homes is well known as being a developer who truly does just an incredible job with their common and shared spaces. Once complete, they will have interconnected walking and jogging paths, multiple green open shared spaces, and a great community pool. For the most part, most of the homes here in Quartet are going to be spec homes, which means they'll be listed in our IMLS as to be built homes and or in some cases shortly after they are completed and available to tour. And while some people initially think they want to be part of the customization process and thus they want to have the option to weigh in on selections such as countertops, flooring, cabinetry, and well all of that, well let's just say that for some they discover that decision fatigue can be all too real and sometimes just an all-around exhausting experience and one that some home buyers ultimately determine that they'd just rather forego. But again, that's totally up to personality and preference. So just know that with some builders and lots, there are typically some options and selections, but that's often pretty dependent on when you get involved with the building process. So if having some say on some selections and options is really something you do want to do, 
then be sure to reach out to us so we can dive in and help you make it happen. Another great thing to know about Brighton communities is that since they are built out by a select number of great builders, there's also typically a wider range of price points than many initially expect, which of course can help some home buyers tremendously. So now you are likely wondering what price points you could expect to find in all of these great Meridian communities. And great question. Due to how fluid our housing market is, home prices obviously fluctuate and change with time. When we push this video live, I I will post a comment in the comment section down below detailing the current price ranges for each. But let's say you're watching this, I don't know, maybe nine months down the road from the time I'm filming it, or maybe even several years from now. My team and I would be happy to send you over some up to the minute numbers and price points so you can really wrap your head around it. Call, text, or email us, or post a comment below. We're here and would really be happy to help. Also, if you're thinking about moving to Boise, but you just don't know quite yet which town, let alone community, would be best for you, but you also aren't quite ready to take that leap to reach out to schedule a call, we have a fantastic and completely free no strings attached relocation guide that you can download and peruse through at your leisure. I will put a link to it in the description of this video. And then once you're ready to take that next step, give us a call or shoot us a text so we can set up an exploratory call to learn everything we need to know about you and whomever it is who's coming alongside of you. Once we know a bit about you, we would love to help you hone in and find your perfect fit here in Idaho. My very low pressure, but also highly professional and proven team are here and ready to help. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.